Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box hobby. Pick your team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Brand new release just dropped today on Wednesday the 18th. We've been rocking through a lot of these. Got HTA versions available as well on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Lou, Last Bot Mojo Pirates. And there's everyone else. Thanks everyone for getting into it. Appreciate it. So this is a slightly longer break on the longer side, 40 minutes or so. So relax, settle in, and, and hopefully witness something amazing. That's the idea. Now we've got a quick personal box, the HTA version of this. We've got a personal box coming up after this. Poster, decoration for the shop. Now... Once we're done with this, we've got a quick personal box after that. And then after that, that we should be kind of into the last maybe hour, 15 minutes of the broadcast. Hour, hour and 15 minutes of the broadcast. Which is time for one more hobby. One more of these if you want to do it. And then plus maybe a short break like a collegiate football. Or we can do collegiate football for an hour. Or we can do HTA and then a couple collegiates. But we don't have, we're kind of running out of time, Is I guess is what my point is. So first to fill, first to break up until whenever, until the time we go off air, 10 o'clock Pacific. But we got to get that timing just right. Because if, if an XR fills at 10 o'clock Pacific, that's when I usually go off air. That's going to be pushed till tomorrow. So we got to give ourselves the right amount of time. Now, I don't mind going over a little bit, but I mean, I'm not going to start an XR break at 9.45, you know what I mean? So... Just keep that timing in mind and start getting your spots going. All it all it needs is a, a, a little rally, you know, kind of a group of people to rally around a, a, a break and we can make it happen. XR football. Pick your team two is down to five teams left. Flawless Collegiate three, which is from a, a one box break from a fresh case. That has nine teams left, not very many left. HTA, which is much shorter than the hobby that we're about to do, is uh, only five teams left. Full case HTA. Those are the new releases. I think those are our best bets for tonight. So let me know what you want to do by placing your orders on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, Steve Olson. Well, Trey Bush wants XR. Steve Olson wants flawless collegiate football, so that's where they stand. And I think they got their teams already, so they're not just not just like they're just talking. They got their teams already, so they want to see it. And I'm looking at that with this wild card race here, NL wild card race. It's pretty crazy, pretty wild. Do we like the wild card format, ladies and gentlemen? I know baseball fans tend to be a little uh, a little wary of any significant change, but do we like the wild card format? I definitely like that one game one game play in the two wild cards and the one game. I think that's pretty exciting because it's a pretty great way to kind of kick off the playoffs. All right, there's one autograph in each little mini box here. Good luck. Logan Gilbert, these purple shimmers, I think one per mini box. Tim Tebow, save one of those. Someone was saying like a gold Tebow is already like to 60 bucks or something like that. It was SKS, I think. Someone. There's Austin Warner. Austin Warner for the Cardinals. That's going to go out to Chris Freeze. There's Mason Engel, Englert to 250. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Everything ships, by the way, in these hobby breaks. I think there's just so many rookie cards and Bowman first and prospects and whatnot. There's really no vet commons. So we're, we, are, we are shipping everything, which is good news for you because it's a prospect product. And our second autograph is for the Red Sox. That's uh, Durbin Feltman. 
And that goes to Josh Pruce and the Bow Sox. And pick your team four. And I'll do a quick autograph recap video at the end of that too, at the end of this video. The numbered cards like this, Brendan McKay to four ninety nine. We'll have our team sleeve and top load before they get sorted and shipped out, just in the interest of time, especially since we're getting close to the end of the evening. I want to try to shave as much time down as possible. Give us another chance to do a couple more breaks. All right, next box. Rex was asking before the break if we pulled any super factors. No, we have not pulled any super factors yet. Maybe this break will be the break. Looks like Garrett Cole reach, reached, re reached, has reached, reaches the 300 strikeout milestone, becoming only the 18th pitcher in the modern era to reach 300 Ks in a season. Wow. Yastrzemski threw the first pitch to his grandson. <laughs> Reached, yeah, David says the Reached. Uh oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna click the link that says "Explaining Postseason Tiebreaker Scenarios." All right, if two teams tie for a division title, that's the classic push, right? There, we'll go to. Their head-to-head -head record, I think. If three teams tied, each team would receive an A, B, or C designation. Wow. <laughs> if three teams tie for a division title, which could happen in the NL Central, if the Cardinals, Cubs, and Brewers were to be deadlocked at season's end, each team would receive an A, B, or C designation. Club A would host Club B on September 30th. And the winner would host Club C the following day. The winner of that game would be the division champ. Think of it this way. Think of it almost like a draft. And the team with the first pick can choose the scenario it likes best. The team may, might rather play two games than one if it gets to host both, which is why a team might choose to be Club A over Club C. On the other hand, team could choose Club C designation wants to rest a certain pitcher and take his chance on a one winner take all game, even if it's on the road. All right, it's just too confusing. I can't read all of that. Here, I'll 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 drop the link to that MLB.com article. John Harshbar, did I miss anything? You missed everything. We've just been pulling pulling monster hits nonstop. There's Jake Bowers to four ninety nine for the Tribe. Ooh, and a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? There's Taylor Trammell, Purple Shimmer. Kevin Biggio, didn't he hit for the cycle last night? And there's Danny Diaz. Autograph for Josh Pruce and the Red Sox. I think most of these are going to be on-card autos except for, like, insert autos. Ken says he did. Kevin did hit for the cycle last night. Nice. Did I read that correctly where it was the same day that his dad hit for the cycle? Or was it, like, the same week? Something was really close. Out of 250, uh, Jemai Jones... Which I thought was 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 wild. I didn't believe. I don't believe it. Taylor Ward to one fifty. Oh no! It was just the second father son duo to hit for a cycle. Okay. Who was the first? Gr Griffey Junior and Senior. John Harshbarger guessing Fernando Tatis Junior on this redemption, which would make which would make Peoples very happy. You are due to receive a Chrome Auto Relic Gold Refractor Parallel of
L, Fernando doesn't start with L, L, U, Luis, Luis Urias, Luis Urias, who is a, uh, who is still a Padre, right? Yeah, that'll, that'll still go, he's second baseman for the Padres, that'll still go to Peoples. Peoples wants the player that plays uh, just to the right of him at shortstop. All right, at least a Padre says Peoples, yeah. All right, let's try to find his teammate, Brian. Only our third box in Picker Team 4, so we got plenty of time to go. So Ken's saying that, that, that Kevin Biggio and Craig Biggio, second father and son duo to hit for the cycle, who's the first? Griffey, Griffey Jr. and Sr. is my guess. John Samson thinks it's Griffey. Yeah, I, I agree, peoples. I agree. We've we got to find that Tatis Jr. I can't think of a lot of father-son duos in the, in the first place. Barry and Bobby Bonds? I mean, there, there could have been a cycle in the a couple cycles between those two guys, right? What? Is that really? I don't know who those people are. Gary and Daryl Ward? Wow, you just Googled it? That's what it is? Huh. Yeah, not Gus and Buddy Bell. I thought maybe like the, the Alou, Alou family must have, must, I thought they would have, one of those guys must have hit for this. I know, Daryl Ward and Gary Ward. I don't know those people at all. I, I'd argue that I'm a pretty big baseball. Maybe it was, oh, no, my, my, my seven, 1970s twins knowledge is not very strong. <laughs> Here's Moises Gomez to four ninety nine for the Rays. Dalton Farshow. Uh, Daniel Patera with the Tampa Bay Rays. You know what's still on the table for Fernando Tatis Jr.? He, they could be the first father and son duo to hit two grand slams in one inning off the same pitcher. Remember when Fernando Tatis Sr. did that off of uh, Channel Park of the Dodgers? I remember it. Uh, no, not at all. I can drop that right now for you, Jack. Here is the Jack wants to read the article about the 50 autograph book that we pulled from Luminaries. <laughs> It's in the chat. And there's another Moises Gomez, this time just a regular base auto for the Rays. So a Rays personal box for Daniel Patera. So Gary Ward, Twins, Rangers, and the others in the 80s. All right. And Jays with a comeback win. Saying Ken. We got Jose Devers. Any relation to... Cousin, Rafael Devers. There you go. You guys remember, uh, speaking of wards, do you guys remember Ward Burton? NASCAR driver Ward Burton. Did he drive the cat car, maybe? Maybe the Cat 22. 
You remember Tim Burton? I remember Tim Burton. He's still with us. War Burton's still with us, too. I don't know what War Burton's doing these days. No NASCAR fans? Wait, Don Stan saying Daryl and Gary Ward have a TV show on the Outdoor Channel? Or are you talking about Ward Burton and his son? A lot of Ward going on here. What are some other famous Wards? Wasn't there a Ward uh, who, in the 1960s Batman and Robin television show? Who was, who was Robin? He was a Ward, wasn't he? Oh, Ward Burton and his son is doing TV now? There you go. Burt Ward is Robin. There you go. If you're just joining us, folks, this is jazbeescasebreaks.com, home of Ward Talk. Home of Ward Talk. If you want, if you want, uh, want some Ward knowledge dropped on you, we got it for you. We got all the Wards. We got gold, Zach Brown Band. 15 out of 50 for the Brew Crew. Lou with the Brewers. John Tamson, did you, did you say you had to go back, you go to the doctor's office? Just because, just, just on general oldness? Corey Ray. There's Carter Keyboom to 499 for the Nats. Anthony Rizzo for the Cubbies to 150. I like when the parallel matches the team colors. And another brewer that is Quentin Torres Costa. The QTC. Going to Lou and the Brewers. Oh man. There's Victor Victor Mesa. Oh, you're you're a Virgo. So you're now it's just time for regular regular doctor duties. Well, what? Yeah. What, <laughs> Wait. What's the C test? I know what the P test is. That you gotta check. That that's gotta happen, whether you like it or not. Oh right, the colonoscopy. Right. Process you gotta check though, guys. Do it. Just get it done. Make it happen. Like nowadays, there, there, there's all these like non-invasive tests for like prostate stuff too, right? Peoples, yeah, Brian Peoples, a Bartolo Colon oscopy. Why is why is Bartolo Colon? He's busy striking out nine-year-old kids back home. Why isn't he like like hooking up with like doctors, medical firms, and health insurance firms, and be like, hey, I'm Bartolo Colon. Former Major League Baseball player, you know, you may think I'm big and I don't take care of my body, but you know what I do? Do I get I get my colon I get it checked regularly. I call it a Bartolo colonoscopy. Oh man, that would crush. Hey, this is Bartolo Colon from Blue Shield. Hi, I'm former Major League Baseball player Bartolo Colon for Kaiser Permanente. If you're over the age. If you're my age, <laughs> you know. Oh. That would be so good. Man. Bartolo Colanza, that's a missed marketing opportunity. We got the case hit right here. We'll set that aside. Oh, Mr. Harshbarger asking, Joe, if someone asked you how much you want to sell the 50 auto book for, how, how high would I start? I'd start at 75, I'd start at $100,000. Come on, 
camera. I'll be honest with you, I'm running out of steam a little bit, and it looks like the camera's getting a little tired too. All right, so there you go. That was that pot and the rest of that box. It's Chris Bryant refractor to four ninety nine. And there is Mason Englert. Engl Eng Englert? I have a tough time with that name. Why not, John? Someone might do it. <laughs> What's the worst that happens? Someone does it? Someone pulls the trigger on it? <laughs> What's the worst that happens? You lower the price on <laughs> it? At a 150. But why not? I mean, that's an eye popping dollar amount. Then you get a lot of people talking about it and asking about it. So that, that drives a lot of publicity to it. And then maybe eventually lead you, lead you to someone making a serious offer on it that you would privately accept. And then you would never have to tell anybody what you accepted. But then forever, everyone would think that's a $100,000 car. And I might have, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of uh, next time the national is in Chicago, John. You should really go. Um, you should go with the. Well, you don't have to bring the thing. I wouldn't. I wouldn't travel with it. But uh, next time the national is in Chicago, which is a couple of years, or maybe even go to the one next year in Atlantic City. Um, there are at the national on the main floor of the national. There are like three or four um, auction houses that are there. That's, that have, a, that have a, a branch of their auction house that, that specifically focuses on sports memorabilia. So I would go, I, I think it'd be worth it to go for a weekend to the National and then pick their brain about what you have and see what, what they can do for you, right? And then talk to a few different auction houses and see what they do for you. There's Bobby Dalbeck, nice, Arizona Fall League, jersey and autograph. I'm looking forward to Bobby Dalbeck's post- Baseball career selling Bobby Dalbeck's Malbecs for you wine people out there. That's for Josh Proust. And then, of course, MLB.com slash authentication. You can see exactly what date that came. That jersey came from. 45 out of 50. Nice. I like the uh, I like the addition of this. And I always love those hologram stickers, too, for max authenticity. I think as the years go on, folks, we sh we should hopefully be seeing uh, more and more of those uh, hologram stickers, not only for baseball product but hopefully for football product too. A while back, at a Tops conference, we had uh, there was a Tops or sorry, a Major League Baseball representative there, just kind of giving a quick little talk, and he was saying that there that these this sticker sort of process is actually something that I, I want to say that I think Major League Baseball created on their own as a separate company and they're looking to try to extend that service to the NFL and NBA and stuff like that. So so I think, you know, the all the technology is is improving which is good. It's good for us in the hobby. There you go. Your 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 friend went to the National this year, came home with $26,000 after selling some stuff. Yeah, I think it'd be worth it for you, for for you to go to the national, talk to a few of the auction houses, and kind of do some price comparisons and see what what they think initially about the value, and then all that sort of stuff, or at least put you in touch with somebody, and you can get some serious conversations going. I would not sell it privately. I feel like I don't know. I feel like it'd be a hassle. That's a lot of money to exchange privately. You know, I would be uncomfortable. Like, what do you do? You get a briefcase of cash, you Venmo it. I don't know if I'd be comfortable with that. I think something that unique, you know, could benefit from, even if they take however much percent of their fees they take, but even if they take a fee, But, yeah. Here we go. Let's get to 
Don says Top should give you an all-expense paid trip there to show off their product. I mean, why not? Send 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 Mr. Harshbarger out out to Atlantic City for a few days, and he just sits at the Tops booth. They have a pretty big booth there on the floor there too. Hang out at the Tops booth and say, hey, this is what you can find in future products, future Tops products. This is the kind of thing that we do. That would open up some eyeballs. You know, even more than Tops, you know, I would if I was Beckett. There's Jake Cave, twins, Steve Locke. If if I was Beckett, I would fly John out to Dallas, where their place is, and then slab it and grade it and slab it right there on the spot. You know, or somehow slab it just to I don't know, something like that. I don't know I don't know what the grade would be like, but that would be good publicity too. Hey, look, we can we be like, hey, we're Beckett. We can we can grade anything. We can slab anything. You know, would be like a cool little pitch. Be good for marketing. And there's like, and then they get that that piece in their in their offices, and they can kind of ogle over all it, and then argue like we are. Hey, what's that worth? <laughs> you know. There's Charlie Blackman to four ninety nine. I have no idea how you would slab such a huge card. Um, Jake Cave goes to the Twins. That's going to be for Steve Locke. And then the uh, Luis Garcia is, is going to be a uh, fight and fill for Darren McKenzie. I don't know. That's for them to figure out, Chris Higby. That's for them to figure out. You know, they're going to have to think of a new way to do it, a creative way to do it without it snapping in half. It's <laughs> Kyle Wright to 250. They're the experts, not me. There's Travis Swaggerty for the Pirates to 150. I think the only concern I would have, John, about that, because John, John wants to set up his, old, his, his, young, his son, so when he's older, you know, maybe I'll have a, a little bit of college money or, I don't know, his first car money, something like that, you know what I mean? Um, I think the only concern is if, and I doubt they will, but... The only concern, minor concern that I have is if Luminaries has another, like 2020 Luminaries has like, a, um, a, what can we call it? If they do another 50 auto one of one again, which I don't think, I feel like that's such a big project. I don't think they would, but like if it is in there and it gets pulled, I think that would be the only thing. You know, that might depress the value a little bit, but. Uh, yes. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna do one for Evan right after this, SKS, so I can just, and I don't see any other orders coming in, so it looks like people maybe are a little burned out for, for Wednesday. So it would be perfect to squeeze in some personal box of that HTA. I'm opening a fresh case for Evan, and then you'd be the one after that. Oh, and I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad he did. I was just going to say that too. Nick Jaspi and the boss man are coming back from the industry summit in Vegas. And um, I think they just landed uh, not too long ago. And they'll be, in, they'll be in the shop tomorrow. So once they get settled in this week and help sort a lot of this stuff, and I think over the next few days or so, John, we should be able to see if we got any other additional information for you. I mean, obviously, it's good exposure for us too. There's Usai to 250.
And there's Jameson, Hannah. That is for the Oakland Athletics. That'll be for Jack. There's Tim Tebow, Purple Shimmer. Now Mets, John G., those Tim Tebows are going to have value. So that's his, that's his Bowman first, too. So. All right. EA looking for an Alexander Canario. There's Edwin Encarnacion to 499. Keston Hira. And Trey and, and uh, Don want to knock out that XR. I mean, we got time for it, but we're, we're running out of time. That's the thing. I haven't seen an order since, you know, almost, almost an hour, about 45 minutes. And for the Angels, there's Patrick Sandoval. Oh, yeah. I think we got a lot more, a lot more eyeballs, Sean Harshbarger, kind of visiting us and then discovering group breaks because of that, which I think is great. The Beckett article definitely helped, too. Yeah, it's everyone, everyone wins. But that's part of it, you know. I think people, obviously, as an individual, for you, for you guys, when you, when you're opening up these things and your you know your two hundred dollar team doesn't hit, yeah, it sucks, you know, like it's it's a bummer, you know. But we're taking a similar risk on a sort of a different scale. That's Alex Kirilov for the Twins. We're buying these cases, hoping that we get good stuff pulled out of it, right? Now, so. There's like there's that for us too, you know. If we get unlucky and we get we get bad Bowman Chrome cases or we get bad Luminaries cases, not bad, but you know what I mean. If we get kind of cases that don't have really eye popping hits that don't encourage you and everybody else to uh, like to buy Angels for David Sitko, by the way, and David Patrick Sandoval, um, then people are, are going to be a little hesitant to buy into it. Look how fast the luminaries went as soon as that 50 auto book came out. You know? So, yeah, so there's, there's different risks that we all take, ladies and gentlemen. But I think we're all pulling for the same thing to happen is it's, it's good group breaks. And every once in a while, you know, someone gets lucky and gets that one of one Tyler Murray. Someone gets lucky and gets that one of one for that super fractor Fernando Tatis Jr. You know, blah 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 blah. So it helps, it helps everybody. I think that's the attitude we want to have, John. I think everyone should be rooting for everyone, each other. You know what I mean? If everyone's rooting for each other. It's going to feel a lot better when you hit big and then everyone roots for you. Or if you don't hit, you're, everyone will be like, don't worry, man. I've been there before, <laughs> you know? I think the funny thing that I, the funny commentary that I hear a lot um, is like, it's like, oh, man, uh, EA, it's in the game. He always hits. He's always hitting. Always getting the big hits. You know, um, Stephen K. Man, that guy, that guy's always getting the big hits. I'm like, man, that's just because they're hitting at the moment. I don't, I don't, I don't call their names out when they're not hitting. You know, <laughs> they're like, there's so many times where they're not hitting. So, I mean, let's let's root for them. Let's appreciate them when they are hitting because a lot of times when people aren't hitting, it's kind of, I kind of like baseball. If you're hitting 300, 350, that's pretty good. <laughs> I guess that's what you would hope for in a group break too. You know, and some home runs every once in a while, not just singles. Not just singles. The singles are nice too. You're getting hits, right? But you got to have that home run every once in a while to make it worthwhile. Roddy Tellez, green. But hey, that's the part of the fun of this. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. It's the it's the uh, it's the it's the thrill of the chase. You know, there's Shervin Newton, and of course we. We all we always throw in like some break credit. Like this has a oh, how much are we giving away in this break? We're giving away a hundred bucks of break credit in this break, you know. So we try to do that too. Someone's gonna get it. Maybe may not be you all the time, but someone's gonna get it. 
So we try to add a little bit of that incentive as well. And like Chris Higby is saying, there's the thrill of the chase that keeps people going. You know, I mean, I don't know. These boxes are expensive. You want, I mean, everyone's always welcome to go and buy a personal box. But not everyone has that personal box money. It's easier to buy one or two teams across a few cases of a break, you know? So there are, there are advantages to the, to the group breaking. All right, Jack. What's up? Got a note from Tom today that they just shipped out a mystery rookie card auto. And you still don't know who it is. They haven't announced those for finest, Jack. It's nice, Mike Piazza, alumni. There's uh, or Elvis Martinez. 295 out of 90, 499 for the Blue Jays, Kyle. <laughs> Still looking for Lori Markin, I know, right? You know what, though? We may get some of that old product back during the basketball season, EA. It'd probably be cheaper. You can dip back into it. There's Joe Adele to 99. That's going to be a big prospect. I mean, if Joe Adele, Mike Trout in the outfield together... And if Shohei Otani kind of stays healthy, you know what I mean, and starts to hit and pitch like he's supposed to next year, they shut him down for the rest of the season, which is fine. They're, you know, they're, they're not going anywhere playoff wise. But if they if if they're all uh, if they're all healthy, Mike Trout also shut down for the season, but if. Trout's healthy, Joe Adele in the outfield. I think they got they still have Justin Upton out there. Angels just have a bad starting pitching staff. They just they just gotta and Otani's not gonna be enough. You know, I mean he's at best. You know, because they're not gonna wanna I don't think they're gonna have Otani pitch like two hundred innings in a season, right? So at best he's gonna give you like number two, number three starter. Thing. You know what they need to do? Garrett Cole's a free agent. They need to get put get get Garrett Cole, put him on the top of that rotation, and then. And I don't think they've got a lot of pitching prospects coming up either. So they just have to. But their hitting is good. They got Anderson Simmons is is a is a cornerstone of that defense, and they've got some. You know, but they got a good out. You know, they got. They still have Albert Pools is still okay. He's still hitting. You know, he's still under contract for another like three years. Otani can still hit. Trout can hit. Joe Odell can hit. Justin Upton can still hit. So there's there's guys there's guys that can still hit. So you just need to get that pitching taken care of. And Matt Harvey thing just didn't work out. But they just need to be like short of. Short of them uh, kind of having a pitching prospect, which I don't think they have in that organization, not yet anyway. They kind of have a weak farm system. But, you know, they can they can just buy pitching for now, which they should. I mean, otherwise you're just wasting Mike Trout's career. All right, looks like XR2, Derek is saying, is down to two. Looks like just the Lions and Dolphins. Lions fifty four ninety nine and the Dolphins thirty nine ninety nine. Let's uh, let's sell that out. Add it to the schedule. That looks like that's going to be the next break. So here is my sort of rough kind of schedule right here. I'm assuming that XR2 is going to sell out next. So we're almost done with this. Right? We just have a few boxes to go. And then a couple personal HTA personals for Evan and SKS. There's Joey Gallo to 499. Then we'll rock through XR2. And then by the end of the night, we should have time for one more personal 
or maybe a collegiate break or something like that. All right, so I'm going to try to pick up the pace a little bit on this break, too. There's Noel V. Marte to 250 for the Mariners. That's for Kai Hang Chen. We got Wander Javier to 99. And we've got for the Nationals, we got um, Israel Pineda. And that's for a Panagiotis. Still looking for that guy's ink in this case. Logan, what's going on? Three boxes to go. Ah. Logan, I feel like I feel like legally they're not allowed to do that. Unless you're just getting unless you're just racking up that OT. Alright, next box. Good luck. different for some reason. Yeah, seriously, Brian Peoples, who has the Padres, he's like, man, at this point, I'd settle for, uh, I'd settle for just the parallel, cut some color on that Tatis, anything. Uh, yes. Ten. We just pulled one just a minute ago, a second ago. There you go. Noel V. Marte to 250. What do you mean you don't have a choice? You definitely have a choice. This is America. All right, there's Altuve to 250. All right, XR has sold out. Nice. So, and there's Geraldo Perdomo for DMAC and the Diamondbacks. Um, nice. So that XR is official now in that time slot. So that should bring us to around 9.30 LA time. Maybe give or take, five, give or take 10 minutes or 10, 15 minutes or so, but around there. So that still gives us a little time to do a quick break. It'd be a perfect time to maybe we can squeeze in a few personal boxes. We can probably squeeze in two or three if you want in that 9.30 time slot. Or we can do a couple collegiate breaks. Those collegiate breaks don't take very long at all. There's Nick Madrigal, Atomic, to 150. So let's start thinking about something. one more thing we can do before we have to call it a night. Unfortunately, we won't have time to do another uh, Chrome or a another um, or or another XR, but but personals and flawless collegiate, we will definitely have time for at the end. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck. Um, we got four autographs to go, so cross your fingers. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> He's like, come on, don't skunk me. What do you got? You got Cubs, you got Giants. Oh, man. We're running out of boxes, EA. <laughs>
King D, what's going on? Go Astros, he says. Did you guys clinch today? Is it official? That flawless collegiate's at nine. Definitely possible to do that by 9.30 Pacific. Oh, you're just saying go Astros in general. Didn't they, haven't they clinched by now? Don't they have like the... I feel like they should have clinched by now. Who's, 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 who's the pesky second place team delaying the inevitable? big thing for the Dodgers is maybe trying to get the best record in baseball so they can have home field advantage throughout, but they're two games behind the Astros who have 100 games, and then the Yankees have 99 games. So, don't know if that's going to happen. Dodgers need that home field advantage, though. Yeah, I think home field advantage would be would be huge for the Dodgers, Astros, Yankees. Those are the three teams vying for the best record in baseball. So that's like the big that's the big finish. And there's still what only ten, ten, ten regular nine or ten regular season games left. There's not a lot. Not a lot of games left. Cat, what's going on? If we're if we meet again the World Series King D, I'm I'm buying tickets. I'm not sure if I. Uh, I'm not sure if I. I'm a, I think I'm a, I might be a little priced out of those World Series tickets. I think I might be priced out. I have to I have to save that money for uh, for therapy, King D. Once the Dodgers lose again, and are the Buffalo Bills of, of baseball, I gotta pay for the therapy. For the White Sox, there is Connor Pilkington. Going Connor with a K, huh? That's for David Sitko and the White Sox. There's Connor Pilkington again. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Joey Votto to 499. Oh, is that right, King D? You have, might have a hookup to get into the Astros. Yeah, but then <laughs> there's Jose Devers. I'm in enemy territory. I may not make it out of there alive. That's for the Marlins. That goes to Robert S. And out of 250, there is Hansel Moreno. So those are the two autographs of this box. Then we got two autographs left. That might be even more dangerous, King D. In this current climate. For Jonathan Loaziga to 150.
And there's your next autograph. It's a cubby. Not skunked, EA. EA with the Northsiders. There's Richard Gallardo. Well, that, that team's not skunked. And we've got some gold shimmer, Bobby Dalbeck. 30 out of 50 up there for Josh Pruce and the Red Sox. Should have one more auto. Who could it be now? Do, 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 do. It's going to be a Royal. That's Jeffrey Del Rosario. And that is for Big Rig and the KC Royals. And that's the way it ends, folks. Uh, break credit still being given away. So if you bought at least two teams, you got some entries. So cross your fingers for that. Bryce Harper, purple to 250. And Encarnacion at the end. And all cards ship in these. So you'll be, uh, I mean, I feel like every team should be getting at least a small stack of cards too along the way. Oh, quick autograph recap right here. So this is the way it went down. Levon Soto also went to David Sicko and the Angel. I don't think I called that out. Novi Marte, purple to 250. A lot of nice parallels popping out of here. Most of these guys seem to have pretty good autographs. There's Bobby Dalbeck again. It's a case hit, one per case. Luis Urias, was your redemption? Still, still need to find his teammate in one of these, one of these breaks. And there you have it, Pick Your Team Four Hobby Edition in the books of the brand new 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball. We got plenty in the store. Check it out, and we'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.